Okay, so this is the micro e mini NASDAQ futures trade that I had taken Friday. Um, the trade before that I had that was actually a loss, and it wasn't a substantial loss, and I'll explain to you which, um, what, why it was actually a loss, and how it came about. So, I was waiting basically for price, um, I had marked this line right here, which was, what is that, 17, 472-ish. I was waiting for price to to break that because I was looking at these highs right here and as well as uh, this low right here, these lows. And it did push through, uh, but ended up getting stopped out right right around here. And this, this blue line right here is the previous day's... Uh, probably low, low or high, one of those. Uh, but basically ended up getting stopped out. As you guys can see, it went down. Um, and I marked this area because this was within the vicinity of where I was looking at um, when I was on fr uh, Friday. It went up and this is where I got stopped out with this particular uh, candle right here. One of these two stopped me out. I think it was actually this one because it went up further and I it didn't, I don't think I put an order up there or um, I don't think I went beyond this one because it was too much of a risk. And so I just kind of waited and waited. And I believe I re-entered again when this the price actually started moving down. Um, and then I believe I took my order right around here. My stop loss. No, no, actually I, I went further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, when price was right around here was when I took my profit um if I was recall yeah 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 that's about right um but I was also I, I marked these lines these were the, the the lows that I was looking at that I was kind of hoping that it would you know push through and at some point it did but like I, I've said it before, but like this is really annoying with the futures and I'm not I'm personally not used to it yet because it seems like there's a lot of movement that happens after um, like 11 around noon or one o'clock is when it does it and when it, it'll do these type of moves. And this is usually the time that I'm at work or doing like a meeting or something like that. And so I'm not able to watch this. And I took my profit around here. Because I wasn't able to watch it, you know, and yeah, it, it went down lower and I probably, if I had seen some of these movements, I probably would have put more positions, but it is what it is, I can't, I can't do anything about it. And sometimes you don't need to chase it, it is what it is. Um, and you guys can see this was like around like 1 o'clock, or over here it was like noon, and like 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, that type of thing. So I wouldn't have been paying attention at all when this was, um, when this was happening, but I did, I didn't manage to... Um, get some of my loss back uh, more than break even or whatnot so that's that's pretty nice to end it that way because sometimes it's like frustrating when you see this type of movement that happens which I don't recall what this was I think it was something with the news I don't remember um, but you know it's frustrating because you're, you're looking for a move and then it kind of does it I mean it is what it is we can't be perfect it's not really going to be um, it just sucks because you're, you're just kind of watching it and you're like, you yeah, know, should have happened. Um, I don't, I haven't looked at anything, so let's see what's happening here. Let's look at Dow Jones. So this one didn't, it pushed through and this was the level that I'd marked. So it didn't look like it's going to touch maybe the 200. This is an area that for next week, let's see what, what it'll do. I don't like that. Mm, that doesn't look promising to me. Mm. This looks like it wants to push the low, but uh no. It looks like it's still got room for it to move up. Maybe if I go down. Yeah, it's got a little bit of room to grow here up a little bit. Maybe some retests up here. I wouldn't be surprised if it tries to retest up here again. But if it pushes past this low right here, that wouldn't be, I'd expect it to fill this. But then once it starts reaching this area, what is that price? Uh, whatever that is, 49.63-ish. 
it would be a nice move. But we'll see. It's probably going to finagle for a little bit and come back up. Um, this is what we were looking at before, earlier. Um, yeah, this looks like it wants to move up. If it forms a fractal, which is a, these little things right here, it, it could, in all honesty, probably, um, in a higher time frame, it could go up here before it decides to push to its low, past the low. But we'll see. I don't know. I'm not too, eh. We'll see what happens. And then we've got, um, we've got Bitcoin, which it's not active, so I can't really expect anything. Uh, let's see. I mean, it's, it looks like it's got potential for it to go down. I do want it to go up higher if it does decide to, to, like, to go down. You know, I'm just kind of waiting for uh, areas. I'm not really sold on this, but if it does move, that'd be nice. Then I'd expect it to go up higher if if it does that. You know, it's, a, it's an if, if kind of situation. And then you've got crude. Let me look at it on a higher time frame. I hate it. No, I don't do this right. Okay, cool. Uh, so this did push this level right here. Then it went back up, though, to fill, like, this area. Um, I wish I had seen this early, or before, but this was, like, Thursday. Um, but usually when this type of move happens right here, it's just hey! filling it. And then we've got this low right here. We'll see if it'll push past that, but it might still try to go up. I don't know. I don't really like this one. I don't, eh. I'm not too married on it. Um, and then we've got the futures from micro, micro, um, you, um, Australian dollar, Aussie dollar. Um, we'll see. I don't know if I like any of this. I, and I'm just looking at this briefly. I'm not, like, I'm not pushed as far as, like, where I want to put my position. Because this, this technically might have some possible areas up here that it might still want to get to before it gets to this low right here. But I don't know. I'm not, you know, like I said, I'm not married to this one. There isn't anything that's, like, screaming to me that's, like, buy me, buy me, or sell me. Then you got micro gold futures. So this one did move a little bit, right? Um, I'm just going to adjust it kind of a bit. Um, but I was kind of hoping for it to push a little bit more. Looks like it was wanting to go, but whatever this high is in a smaller time frame, and that high is would be a good move. We're past 24.50. Silver. So silver is kind of a little slower than gold, but it's definitely going up there, especially if it starts. Now, if it pushes past, was that 29.125? Then I would want to go for 20, what is that, 30? 29.9 somethings. Then I've got, oh, Axie. Um, so, what was I saying with this one before? Oh, I'm mean, just, so there's this move that happened right here. Um, for it to push down, and now it's like, price is trying to balance it. It went up a little bit to so 780. Um, but I honestly want this price to go right around, that's not 720, but look above it, 722, let's just say. Whatever this high is, this price, and whatever this previous level, um, price is, what is that? 721. Maybe I should put that. Uh, 7.21. Yeah, let's put it right here. So I would ideally would want to see that price to go up here if I were going to buy more. Um, it's really not going to matter, though, because once it passes 780, then it's going to keep going higher. Um, I, think I, I think I was looking at the daily on this one. So, I, I mean, look at that area right here, like this this price movement for it to go down. It's going to fill it at some point. We just don't really know when. I don't know if that's, eh. I don't know, hopefully that's a good, I marked that one right. 
because if price does go up, it might try to behave a little bit here before it goes up and start pushing past it. But on a, I think on a higher, 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 higher time frame, I'm looking at these levels right here too. I just mark these previous areas of highs that if price, if price pushes pushes past like what is this thirteen something fourteen whatever it is, it's gonna probably at some point hit this twenty and then if it's past the twenty it's gonna be the twenty eight and past the twenty eight it's gonna be like whatever forty whatever this is forty two forty forty one whatever price that is, um and then I'm actually looking at yen futures, um. I want to see this low be pushed. Look at the, look at these levels of lows that it has. That's I'm gonna mark it out right there, right there, right. So one, two, three levels of lows. It's gonna be interesting as it pushes down. But I didn't look at so I didn't look at the higher time frames. I don't know what to anticipate here. So what you're seeing is me just kind of looking and marking up. It's pretty poor marking, but it's okay. Oh, look at that. That's glorious. And let's see, let's see, where is it? Oof. I mean, that's, that's interesting. Is it already moving? No, it can't be moving. No, but, oh my God, if it does, that's going to be interesting. Um, I think that's all I have that I'm looking at for now. I haven't gone in details to basically see, um, what I want to trade. I mean, I've, so yen is one I'm looking at. This one is interesting. Um, it looks like it's moving down. Uh, silver looks promising, but I don't know if I have time to look at it. I'm not seeing anything here with Dow, SMP, maybe. If this pushes down, I would consider it. Um, this one is probably going to move up before it pushes down. Bitcoin, I'm paying attention to that one. That's going to be interesting. Oil, eh, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, Aussie dollar, we'll see. I'll, I'll mark down what I'm looking for, I guess, in the future here. Uh, what is this, silver? Yeah. Pretty cute. Come here. So I think that's what I'm looking for.